Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Divine Elemental. I'm going to do a collective tarot reading for you guys today. Tarot readings are for entertainment purposes only. <clears throat> the other reading seemed a little slow, so I wanted to do another one. I'm feeling like in a really blah mood. So, I don't know if you guys are feeling that way. <coughs> Let's get some messages for you guys. God, Michael, Spirit, can I please get messages for the collective? We have the Nine of Cups. Messages for the collective, please. God, Michael, Spirit. Three of Cups. It did turn in reverse, so I'll keep it like that, even though I normally don't take reversals seeing the ten of pentacles four of wands and i believe it was temperance I forget page of pentacles i don't know if i'm gonna like this whole camera view thing because i can't actually see it while i'm doing the reading Seven of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So, I am kind of seeing that you're wanting to move towards someone, or something, rather. Um, it could have to do with ending a third-party situation. It also could do with having to end, um, like, partying, drinking. Uh, I do feel like you're wanting to make an offer for a new beginning for someone or with someone you could be doing it in a sneaky type of way or you're wanting to end the sneaky deceptive um, ways that you've been in could be player energy death in the ten of swords uh, sorry excuse me death in the seven of swords so maybe you're needing to end something we have the king of uh, wands underneath that's why I said death to like uh, putting an end to this deceptive sneaky player energy ace of swords is on the bottom of the deck high priestess could want to be moving towards the high priestess energy here with the six of swords wanting to fix something uh, I do feel like you have a lot of sleepless nights and particularly particularly at night you may be fantasizing about this person and wanting to express some kind of love with the queen of cups underneath that the eight of wands let's get a good shuffle in god michael spirit can i please there we go please get three cards to clarify the nine of cups and the queen of swords came out too many Two more cards, God, to clarify the Nine of Cups. The Star card. Let's get one more, please, God, to clarify the Nine of Cups for the Collective. Seeing the Four of Cups, the Three of Wands came out. Judgment on the bottom of the deck. Chariot. Five of Swords. Are we going to take them on? Yeah, I guess we'll take them on. So, this here's, <coughs> let's try that again. There's two cards of wish fulfillment on the board, clarifying. So I do feel like you've had this aha moment with the judgment on the bottom of the deck that this in fact is someone that you've manifested manifested hoped for wished for healed for wanting to give equally to and i do feel like you're also healing to come towards them and you are making the steps towards that you could want to also travel with them because we have two traveling cards but there could be some conflict to do with that i don't know if this is externally or internally but 
they are showing up as a queen of swords energy so this could be you being afraid or there might be some conflict between you two in conversation uh, before this traveling occurs we do have the five of wands underneath with the moon card so there could be some arguments fights going on about secrets coming to the light about a new beginning um, I do feel like this has been thoughts that's been in your head for a while with this page uh, sorry with this knight of pentacles you have the ace of pentacles the ace of cups yeah, you kind of been sleeping on this connection and it's starting to come into light. This could be why a third party might be ending. Let's get three cards, Michael, to clarify this three of cups. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, you could be in a, a situation that's been stable for a while with this Queen of Pentacles energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, this person, this person that you're, sorry, I don't mean to giggle. Um, Ace of Cups also came out to clarify the Three of Cups. So the person that you are interested in could be younger than this feminine energy that you are already in a commitment with. I feel like you have love for both of these feminine energies. And this could be why you're at this debate on whether or not to um, make a decision with one or the other. I know that could be triggering to hear. I'm sorry, I apologize. But I'm seeing it in the cards. So, Four of Swords, The Hangman, Page of Swords, Justice, Two of Pentacles. I do feel like you are aware that you need to bring justice to this situation and make a choice between the two. You need to get out of this page energy and be a grown up and make a decision about it because enough is enough is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> You've been hanging around and sleeping around, not literally sleeping, oh maybe you could be because we did get player energy. <clears throat> but. You've just been in a standstill energy for too long in this situation, and it's not fair to anybody at this point, especially since you did manifest this. Yeah, we have the Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. We saw the King of Wands, so divine counterparts. And then the Two of Wands can also symbolize a choice. And yeah, you're definitely needing to end end this um, indecision, this deceptive energy you have with this Queen of Wands. Um, it's going to end up causing a tower moment. So uh, I'm getting that you may want to try to reach out to this person in a passionate way. <clears throat> kind of wanting your cake and eat it too. You know, have the pretty pretty little young thing like M Michael Jackson said um, but you're also wanting that long-term stability financial security thing you got going on and you're trying not to hurt anybody but having your cake and eat it too is always going to end up in a tower moment the truth always comes out guys remember that let's clarify the page of pentacles please yeah, you're wanting to bring this offer to the table rather quickly and express something. This usually involves love, so we'll see what's happening. I'm seeing the Four of Swords again, so definitely resting right now as the Eight of Pentacles come out. Comes out. Um, I feel like you're working hard towards this communication, this offer you're wanting to bring to the table. The Eight of Cups is in the bottom uh, is on the bottom of the deck, so maybe you are wanting to walk away from what no longer serve you, serves you after healing for so long. It could be walking away from a family situation, uh, a home. So maybe you are healing out of this uh, player energy that you were in, and becoming aware that 
you know, having your cake and eat it too is not going to work out for this situation. All the conflict that you're trying to avoid is going to end up coming to pass because of that. Especially if you guys feel this amount of love for this person and passion and desire. Let's get one more card, please, Spirit, to clarify the Page of Pentacles. Let me just put the book. All right, I'm seeing the Magician, the Ace of Pentacles. So again, you've definitely manifested this, this new beginning. And then the Eight of Cups came out. I feel like you have been working rather slowly with this Knight of Pentacles towards this soulmate connection in this new beginning. You've kept your options open and you could have been holding on to finances a little too tightly here with the devil. You could have, sorry to say, trigger warning, you could be materialistic, you could hide behind material things. Um, this could be the basis of your decisions in life is like keeping up with the Joneses. This is how you measure yourself in worth. Um, this was also right behind. So you see how the temperance is dipping their feet in the water, but also on land and then pouring. So I feel like you've been giving to two different energies to different people for too long and something's needing to come to an end because it's not fair to them it's not fair to you it's not fair to anyone yeah i stopped shuffling the world is on the bottom of the deck but i want to clarify with a different deck I'm going to use this deck. God, Michael, Spirit. Let's clarify. Spirit, let's clarify the Eight of Cups. Too many. One card to clarify. Way too many. Spirit, just one card to clarify the Eight of Cups, please. You're needing to go towards a new beginning. So leave the old for the new. This may cause you a lot of grief and heartache, but it is what's for the best. You're needing to close out this cycle. Yeah, we have the devil underneath that. So what you're walking away from is devil energies that no longer serve you. You need to move on, you need to move forward. Embrace this King of Cups energy underneath that. With the Devil and the King of Cups, you do have a lot of love, like obsessive amount of love in the Nine of Pentacles wanting to come out for this Nine of Pentacles energy. So there is a lot of love. And that could be what scares you too to come forward. Like this is all safe and secure and you, you know this and this is new. Even though you manifested it and it's everything that you would want, but it's still not it's not safe for you but you are needing strength because that popped out of the deck you're needing to gather the the courage and confidence to pursue this person let's clarify the eight of pentacles the eight of wands wanted to flip out when i said that all right eight of pentacles clarifying the ten uh the, what is clarifying it is the ten of swords so I do feel like you guys have been working towards ending this situation. So that player energy that was before wanting your cake and eat it too, that could have been something that you've healed from. I feel like this new person brings out the, the young kid in you, like the childlike demeanor, or you like the childlike innocence that they have, playfulness with the six of cups on the bottom of the deck. God, Michael, Spirit. What do I want to clarify? 
Let's clarify this Nine of Pentacles. Michael, can I get one card to clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please? Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. I just heard three's a party. <laughs> so we have the Two of Pentacles and the Justice. Yeah, you're needing to make a decision and stop, stop juggling. The Four of Pentacles, again, I saw it the last time too. So you are holding tightly to the situation. You're not wanting to let them go. Um, it's just, it's too deceptive, guys. You need to use your intuition. Uh, you could feel like this person is extremely intuitive, too. We have the Eight of Pentacles underneath that, underneath the High Priestess, the Lovers, Seven of Wands under that. So definitely needing to stand your ground. Let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles for the Collective. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles, please, Michael, for the collective. I'm hearing that song again by Shawn Mendes. Uh, I heard it in uh, my last video that I just recorded. But it's Treat You Better by Shawn Mendes. So there's definitely messages in there for the collective at this time. Yeah, so... Uh, Six of Cups is on the bottom of the deck to clarify the Queen of Pentacles. So you may have known this person since you were young, like um, childhood I'm getting. And underneath that is the Two of Swords. You're at a crossroads. A decision is needing to be made. Three of Pentacles underneath that. Temperance and Strength and Judgment I'm seeing. This could be why it's hard for you to let them go. Or what I'm hearing too, you could have children with them. Two, specifically. Let's clarify the Ace of Cups because I'm curious now. Too many. Michael, can I get one card to clarify that? Okay. Ace of Cups is clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Tower. Buddy boy. Oh, damn. Damn the damn the damn. Okay, five of cups. I understand why you are afraid to leave this person. You are afraid that it is going to cause chaos. You are afraid that this person, if you speak your truth about having feelings for somebody else and wanting to be with them, you feel like... This is going to cause such a tower moment in that you may lose people that you're not wanting to lose to move towards something. But, oh man. And this could be why you might not tell the full truth with this page of swords. You might just like, hey, I just don't want to be with you anymore, blah, blah, blah. Even though you have an outpouring emotion towards someone. But I do feel like you're needing to be in this um, empress. Uh, sorry. Emperor energy. So you could see this person as the empress. Like a person you're wanting to go th towards. And we have the ace of cups again. King of cups again. Page of cups. Yeah. When it comes to expression, expressing emotion. You're coming out as cage up. Uh, Excuse me. You're coming up as pages. Oh, man. Yeah. I just split the deck at the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you need to do it, though, guys. I'm not going to lie. Even though it's going to cause you a lot of grief and you might have to walk away from things that... Yeah, see? I just split the deck at the devil now. I was going to say things that no longer serve you. Certain lifestyles. And this could be what you're afraid of, but... I do feel like this is going to end up being good for you. You're going to get everything you ever wanted, like truly wanted in your soul. Just might not be the same lifestyle that you're, you're having here. Let's clarify this Queen of Swords, please. Gone. Too many. Can I get one card? Okay. Yeah. Magician, King of Wands, Ten of Cups. This is this Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles energy. You manifested this. This is your wish fulfillment. 
both these cards, wish fulfillment, healing, manifestation, ten of cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, family, joy, passion, desire, confidence. Um, this person's going to make you feel like the sexiest person in the world, I heard. Um, they're very optimistic. They're going to make you feel very optimistic about your, your life. Five of Pentacles, I think you're just afraid of financially struggling or being left out in the cold, some type of rejection. And this could be why you're in solitude right now. You're trying to figure out a way to get your finances up, so that's not a worry. But I feel like deep down you know if you come into union with this person, like you have a reunion with this person, there's going to be a lot of celebrations. And I do feel like you guys are going to work together. Spiritually, it could be too. Like you guys might have a spiritual business together. Um... But I just feel like you're holding on to a lot of burdens that is unnecessary right now. God, the divine, is telling you to go with the flow. You got to stop worrying about the conflict. You got to stop having these secrets. You got to stop manifesting things and then not wanting to, uh, to commit to the decision with the five of wands on the bottom of the deck. Don't run away from what the divine is trying to bless you with, guys. Let's clarify this star card, please. Get this out of the way. Put it up here. Stop shuffling on the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. All right, let's clarify the star card for the collective, please, God. With one card. Clarify the star card with one card. Ooh, yep. Four of Wands. This is what you want. You will get your happiness. Um, you could want to marry this person, have a celebration with them. Star card on the bottom of the deck as we're clarifying with the chariot. So this is going to come fast. I feel like once you make the decision to leave this situation, when you come towards this Nine of Pentacles, um, and you guys work through this Queen of Swords energy type of thing, I do feel like you guys are going to move very quickly. Um, you could move in together very quickly. Um, I'm seeing marriage could be rather quickly for you guys. Uh, I do feel like you both are on the same page, like over here. This section, I do feel like the desire, the love, all that is on the same page. Let's clarify the Five of Swords, please, God, for the collective. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. Yeah, Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So you are afraid that arguments, conflicts, all this stuff is going to occur if you express your emotions nine of wands i feel like you've been through a lot and this could be where the fear is i'm al i'm almost getting a fear like you have a fear of this person this feminine energy like they're gonna do something because i'm getting relationship ptsd from this card but yeah closing of the cycle needs to happen with the wand underneath that you need to be in a relationship where you feel like you're equally giving and t uh, you're also taking. It's a long time coming here with the Seven of Pentacles. You're wanting to express your emo emotions towards someone. You could want to ask them out on a date or like profess your love. Get them out of this options energy with the Seven of Cups and get them out of this Queen of Swords energy because you've put them in an option energy. And made them feel like they were just desire, lust, passion with this Knight of Wands. You got to get out of this crossroads. Maybe reach out to your person. See if they can help you with this Three of Pentacles. You know, you're holding on to them so tightly with this Four of Pentacles.
if I'm speaking too quickly when I'm explaining things, just rewind it, guys. You'll get the messages. I try to speak slower so you guys hear everything and receive it. for it not to be a clusterfuck. <laughs> All right, let's clarify the chariot god. Can I get one card to clarify the chariot card? Five of cups wanted to come out. The devil card wanted to come out. One card to clarify the chariot. Yeah, I do feel like you are super afraid of this person. Like you're unaware of how they're going to react to you expressing your emotions for someone else. This could have caused a big problem in your relationship before with this situation. Not saying that you guys have cheated, but just the presence of this person. And maybe this feminine energy feels like they can't compete with this other feminine energy. But I do feel like they're, you know, the devil, the queen of pentacles... I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the energies, guys. Be careful. I feel like there's a lot of one-sided relationship going on. You might be giving and wanting them to give, and they're not giving you what you need. They could ignore you. Like, you could express your feelings that, you know, something isn't working, blah, 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 and they just, like, kind of pretend like they... They'll act like they hear you, but then act like nothing ever happened and just continue on after a while. So to clarify the chariot, we have the star, the moon, the five of swords. So I do feel like secrets are going to be revealed and it's going to come very quickly. Um, I'm hearing a bit of an outburst. So maybe if this feminine energy is like, say for instance, talking shit with their friends or, you know, family, whatever, talking shit about this nine of pentacles because you guys may know each other, you know, because at one point this was all friends hanging out, right? Um, I feel like uh, you guys may just like turn around and say, you know, can you just shut the fuck up? <laughs> Basically, like, can we just stop talking about her constantly? It's always, it's been a, like so long why do we have to keep doing this it could have been like a year for you guys i'm hearing um but this is definitely conflict within lovers because that came that's on the bottom of the deck and the back and forth energies like i said six of cups four of wands nine of wands yeah page of swords ace of cups yeah i think secrets are about to come into light with this moon and star energy. I feel like you're just going to get so fed up that you're just going to pour, pour your soul out to this person. And you're going to feel so good when you do it and then get so scared afterwards because of their reaction. Um, so, yeah, this, this situation, it could have, um, yeah, with this combo... There could be mental illness, like mental abuse is what I'm hearing. Or maybe this person has given you anxiety or made you not feel good enough. Um, yeah, made you, yeah, ten of wands made you feel not good enough that, they, that you can never make it without them. Um, I hope there's not physical abuse. I'm kind of getting that, so hopefully that there's not that. For, if there is, you definitely need to get out, like... Go to someone you trust that will always open their door to you. For sure. I stopped shuffling the Knight of Cups. Let's clarify the Three of Wands, though. God, can I get one card to clarify the Three of Wands? Or like a bazillion? Okay, so I'm seeing Seven of Cups. I'm also seeing the Ace of Wands, the Devil, the Hermit, Two of Cups, 
Um, <laughs> I definitely feel, yeah, judgment. Um, you find this Nine of Pentacles, <laughs> you find this Nine of Pentacles to be very attractive. Like, yeah. Nine of Pentacles and the Devil right there. Yeah, you find them to be extremely attractive. And this is actually what could be pursuing you to take the steps towards them. Is the desire is becoming too much. Yeah, I just split the deck on the lovers. So the desire, the want, the emotional, it's becoming too much for you that you just can't handle it. Like, re regardless of whether or not you have to deal with this Queen of Swords energy, I do feel like you're going to make steps to go towards this person because it's just too much. You're feeling too much for them. Uh, a lot of desire, a lot of sexual tension. I'm getting, like, really hot as I'm talking about it. So you do find this person incredibly attractive, and you could have thought that that's what this was in the beginning. And, um, yeah. We have the sun and the knight of swords. You're going to want to rush towards your happily ever after. Um, whew. Okay. Yeah, three of swords. It's going to cause heartbreak. This third party situation is going to end though. Yeah, the heartbreak's going to be with this Queen of Pentacles, and it's going to be coming in fast, guys. We have the Three of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot. You're just needing the strength to come towards your lover and your emotional fulfillment. Like, Ten of Cups is beautiful. This is, like, happy, everything you ever wanted energy and judgment. A decision is being needing to be made. This is God calling judgment on you about an ending. Ten of Swords. Get out of this trapped energy. You're, you are allowed to receive as much as you give, guys. I feel like you're going to have a lot of fun with this new person, though. I think it's going to be hard to leave this situation, but once you do, your wall is going to come down with this person and you're going to want to embrace them. You're, you know that they are your truth. You're going to want to be honest with them and bold. And once you feel like they're committed to you, you're not even going to look back at this, this other one. I really feel that. Where are we at? 32. All right, why don't we get some love messages for you guys? Yeah, this reading definitely went a lot better than the other one. The other one, I was just like, come on, Monica, feel it. <laughs> You're not feeling it. All right, let's get some love messages from my deck. God, Michael Spirit, can I please get messages from the collective's person at this time? Anything that they would like to express to the collective at this time. I'm going to try to just get messages from your person to you guys, not the other way around. I know sometimes it's mixed, but I know we want to know what our person's thinking, not what we're thinking. So I'm going to try to get just messages from the collective's person. Michael Spirit messages from the collective's person. Something flipped over. Wow. <laughs> First card that flipped. Phoenix. <laughs> and then you are my sunshine I'm looking at, guys. See that sun card? Alright. Uh, damn. I love tarot. Messages from the collective's person. This could be confirmation for you guys in some form, whether, you know, you guys like phoenixes or, you know, the whole rise of the phoenix thing. Bottom of the deck is soulmate. So your person is letting you know that they can't move on from you. Uh, 
I'm done playing games. So maybe they were a player too back in the day. Having all those girls or guys. Your person wants you to dance with them. Runner. This could be you or your person. Maybe they're running right now and you're the chaser and you're the chaser. I'm wearing a mask, so maybe your person is not being completely honest with those around them at this very moment in time. Maybe about the way they feel about you. I don't know what to say. I'm feeling like this might be you guys, especially since your person is showing up in that Queen of Swords energy. You could be afraid. You don't know what to say. Family is important to me. I don't care who knows. I love you. Your person's letting you know that they don't care who knows. They don't care about the judgment. They just know that they love you. They're madly in love with you and they don't care who knows. I changed my mind. So maybe they went towards someone and then they decided they don't want that anymore. Or this could be you. I'm with them, but I want you. You are my fantasy. Air hug. Your person is air hugging you until they can hug you in real life. Your person thinks that you are so sexy. I heard some of you. Yeah, right. They think you're sexy. Okay? So if someone made you feel like you weren't sexy, they think you're sexy. And that's all that matters. You are also a breath of fresh air. Everything about you is beautiful to me. See? You are so beautiful. Little rascals. <laughs> That's where I got my swag was Little Roscoe's. Go check it out, guys. <laughs> Do you love me? Uh, yes, your person loves you. Air and fire. You guys could be air and fire signs, or this could just be, you know, intellect and passion. Split the deck on holding hands. Let's get a good shuffle in for some more messages and then we are going to close out this reading guys please hit that like hit that subscribe leave some comments if you want me to do things differently or to ju just to show love please I'm trying to grow this channel to help people out alright message it okay that was quick my body wants you, but my mind says no. Physical bliss. <laughs> Sexy Sag. So you guys could be a Sagittarius, and they're letting you know that they think you are sexy. See, right next to sexy. Like, you're so sexy, physical bliss, sexy Sag. Come on, guys, you should know your person wants you and thinks you are sexy as hell. I'm hearing um, Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. You don't know how badly I want you. So the desire is not one-sided, guys. I love you. I told you, do you love me? And what's right next to it? I love you. Your person is letting you know I love you. They're also putting in a lot of work right now to try to, to try to get their money right. Sunset drives. This could be something they like doing or they want to do this with you. Or I heard um, have imagined you in the passenger seat already. I lied to protect my heart, so maybe they weren't being completely honest with the amount of love they had for you. And this could be why you're debating. Whether or not, you know, 
you can trust them is what I heard or that they will love you mountains you guys could love mountains or your person can love mountains destiny your person wants to flirt with you I want to sit on your lap or vice versa I'm afraid of you breaking my heart so yeah I do feel like you guys should have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation I don't think emotions were fully expressed and you guys are at this limbo stage is what I'm hearing I think of you always excuse me I honestly don't even know why I'm burping because I'm drinking water coffee they could want to take you out to coffee um, you could like coffee or they could buy coffee. I love you deeply. <laughs> I want so bad to say sweet dreams. Right above physical bliss and sexy Sag, may I add. Talk to me for hours, so they like talking to you. Earth and fire, you guys could be those signs, or this could be stability again and passion which is a great combination. Bottom of the deck is it's in the cards. So we're going to pull a few more and then we're going to be done, guys. So this destiny you guys have with each other, it's in the cards. having the urge to tell you guys to go out into nature maybe go to mountains clear your head feel your soul purpose know the truth I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck deck love your tattoo I love your tattoos so your person is letting you know that they love your tattoos let's get a few more messages get in lover we are going on an adventure and then last card your person is telling you fall into me this is such a passionate card but not just like um sexual passion like this is one of those cards like take me deeper the depths of your soul every corner of your soul that you hide away from people they they want to see it your person wants you to fall into them and know that they will catch you when you fall i promise you last card bottom of the deck is i like you so not only does your person love you deeply and find you incredibly wildly attractive but they also like you as a person so i hope this helped please like subscribe comment love you guys